everybody. All right, you are looking at a banjo case. <laughs> this is my custom stone banjo. You can see I've already blinged it out with a couple of nice stickers, one of mine, and Steve's sticker over there at Stone Banjo. All right, so I'm gonna do two videos on this because of how I had this made. It is very custom, okay? So first, let's, let's just go from outside in. We've got a very nice hard shell superior case uh, in brown, which I really like. You know, all these years having all these black cases, brown's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six latches, and this one locks. Okay, are you ready for this? I just don't know what to say. Uh, this case is awesome, by the way. Uh, boom. Oh, oh. All right. So the first thing you see is the green velvet look that's going on there. Let's see if I can get different lighting. Uh, it's like a crushed velvet look, and it's awesome. Let me move the banjo just for a second. Um, it's a molded open back case which is really nice. I mean, it fits in there really nice. You got really thick padding. Then you have this nice, big compartment here. I mean, it is big. So you can put all kind of stuff there and obviously you have your neck rest. So that is a nice case, okay? All right, here is the beauty. I'm gonna do a separate video talking about these inlays and why I chose them. This one is going to be on all the pieces and parts of the banjo. And that stuff. And the next video, I'll obviously play it for you too. The next video is going to be on the inlay. And every piece that I chose here. And the reason for that. Because there is a reason for each and every one. All right, so first of all, let me say, uh, this is the second stone banjo that I've had. The first one uh, you've seen in lots of videos and I bought it used um, and I really liked it. So much so that I went ahead and got on Steve's uh, list to order a custom. And the craftsmanship here I've had a Pisca banjo that was custom, and I've had a Bart Rider that was standard, not custom. I've had both of those banjos. This is better. Bar none. It's better. Uh, obviously, that's my opinion, <laughs> but um, Steve's attention to detail and craftsmanship and his communication, and that is something that is lacking in a lot of companies, but... His communication, I'll take you through a slideshow of it being built as well. So that'll be cool too for you to see. All right, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to talk you through each and every part on this banjo. I'll tell you about his pricing and all that stuff. Um, just know that mine is a one of a kind and he will not build you to the specs that I have just because it's a one of a kind custom. He does not want to do any fancy inlay uh, like this anymore. He wants to do the more simple inlays, and I understand that. But uh, anyway, let's get to talking about this thing. I love it. All right, so the first things first, you choose your woods from Steve, okay? And I wanted a curly maple with the stripes. I specifically asked for that. There's a reason that'll be in that other video, but that's what I wanted. Uh, and I also picked mahogany as my second wood choice for the middle strip and the heel cap and all that stuff. This is not mahogany though. Uh, he couldn't get a good piece of mahogany. So I went with black walnut, another great choice. 
because I wanted a contrast, okay? So we've got a maple rim. This is steam bent. He'll do steam bent or block rim. Um, and it turned out gorgeous with that grain. Oh, 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 and it's got a walnut cap, okay? Then the tone ring choice. I like a wood tone ring. I don't need a ton of uh, volume. And the wood tone ring is a really nice choice for that. So this is just a maple tone ring as well, the wood. And all the brown wood that you see in the dowel, heel cap, all that stuff, that is black walnut, okay? Now, moving along to the front. Well, we have aged brass hardware here. Two, four, six. Let's see. Got 16 hooks. And let me take a minute to talk about this. Steve has designed and created this, um, what is this called? Mm. Come on, y'all know what this is called. This thing right here. He has designed that so the hooks go inside of it. It is so nice. Man, I tell you what, that is nice. Um, and then my tuners are Gota aged brass as well with the cream buttons, which is beautiful, I think. Then on the front, we start here. We've got a no-knot tail piece, walnut armrest that he makes in-house there. I've got a fiber skin head on it. Now this is the only thing I changed and this is my fault because I didn't send him this bridge. Um, he sent this, the um, a maple ebony cap bridge, but I wanted to put one of my Johnny bridges on there that is also beautifully carved and it just really goes with this banjo well. Um, but that's the only thing I changed. Um, then moving up, we've got a 25 and a half inch scale here and that's my first banjo that's the shorter scale and we've got a beautiful ebony and look how thick that ebony is too thick okay we've got a beautiful ebony uh fretboard there we've got a curved scoop which is also very beautiful and that beautiful lily inlay in the scoop and I also chose my markers to be at the top I didn't want anything I wanted bare minimum on my fretboard I only put the fret markers there for you guys that's it I didn't want them there but I put them there for you so you can tell what I'm doing now I bet you notice this thing right here Okay, this is also another first for me, and I was very excited to get this. A tunneled fifth string. And let me tell you, I've been playing banjos since 2003. <clears throat> so, the great thing here is, <laughs> this is amazing. I love not having that tuner there. I don't know why it's there. It shouldn't be. Um, this is awesome right here. Uh, now, he does charge an extra $150 to do this because it is risky with making that tunnel. Uh, and, he, you know, it's easy to mess up, I reckon. Uh, but <laughs> it only took me about five minutes to get used to this, and I'm not going back. This is awesome. Um, we've got nice, um, I don't know what size those frets are. I'd say medium to large but he's dressed them so very nicely okay um top notch here and <laughs> that tunnel i can't get over how amazing that is now i've also got a wider nut i've got a 1.35 inch width nut here again love it it's faster for me okay uh, i talked about that in my tips on buying a banjo video, how the nut width was extremely important. Um, so if you haven't seen that, you may want to go watch that. But um, another thing, his neck is very nice. I would call it a, um, 
It's not a thick or fat C, uh, but it's a C neck and it's very nice, very nice. Um, now, Steve oils his wood. He doesn't like a lot of varnish, which I like that as well. Uh, but this, since he knew it was coming down here in the humidity, he put a very, very light coat of poly on it. And I can't even feel it. I mean, it's still very smooth. Uh, great job there. So here we, we have um, an ebony plate on the headstock as well. We have a unique design here that my husband drew up for me because I wanted something curvy and swoopy. So he drew that up for me. He's not gonna make you this. He'll make you anything else, but he won't, he won't copy this. And I appreciate that. That's very, um, very nice of you to do there. Now, this right here is also another very cool feature. And Steve, I apologize, I forgot the name of this, but this right here add stability to the neck and just top notch everything here uh what did i not talk about uh one thing steve's necks okay he automatically builds in room okay um on the rider that i had it was extremely hard for me to change the action because it was a very tight fitting there. And I understand why it's a tight fitting uh, with the dowel stick. But Steve puts a little bit of adjustment in there so that you can adjust that action height yourself with the neck, which is very nice. Um, he'll let you choose how many hooks you have. And I went with 16. I didn't see the need for all them extra hooks. You don't really need them. Um, the armrest that he makes and you can't I don't know if you can see it there's a line of turquoise and this is turquoise as well and there's a reason for that and we can talk about that in that other video but overall love the banjo absolutely love it the entire customer service experience was amazing and you know I don't say that lightly you guys um, I've had some less than good customer service um, in prior banjo purchases, okay? So, uh, I went with no spikes on this. Um, I'm gonna have to figure something else out, but uh, I didn't want anything on the fretboard, uh, you know? So, maybe I'll just get good enough that I can play in other keys. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but anyway, oh, and these are mother of pearl Dots here, as well as my side dots are Mother of Pearl. They're actually the side dots that I had him put on the fretboard. Um, so, I believe that that is everything here. Um, I can't say enough good about the company. He's only been making banjos since 2020, and let me tell you, I, I'm shocked. He... God, he gets it done right, and he gets it done, I mean, he's only been building since 2020. I, I can't believe it, but anyway, uh, I will treasure this all my days, I tell you what. Okay, I reckon you want to hear some of it. So, I'm going to play some different samples for you, and um, then I'm going to do that other video talking about all these inlays and what they mean and what they're all... They all mean a specific thing, all right? All right, so we're unmuted here.
just lightly muted down by the bridge. And this is not hard mute. This is just lightly muted. Um, Okay, so now if you want to get uh, a banjo from Steve over at Stone, it's going to be $11.50 for your basic custom build where you pick all the woods, pick everything you want, okay? If you want um, extra inlay beyond the basic, you know, mother of pearl dots here and side dots, he will do simple inlays, um, but they will cost extra. Ebony will cost extra if you want ebony. That's because of the high price of ebony. Um, and tunneling is $150 because of how risky it is. But $1150 for a custom banjo where you pick everything. Um, you can't beat that. You really cannot beat that. So um, if you go ahead and purchase from Steve... Mention my name. I'm not getting anything out of it. I don't want to get anything out of it. But I just want him to know that you saw this video. Okay. And um, I'm really. Wow. I do hope you enjoyed that review video of this custom stone banjo. Uh, you're going to see this puppy a lot. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to see this exclusively. Um. I have a, a little benefit that is happening in a week um, that is for a neighbor's brother who has cancer, and John and I are going to play for an hour there, so we've been practicing, and um, I also have the Black Mountain uh, Music Fest up in Black Mountain, North Carolina coming up in October that I will be performing at. I won't be teaching there this year, but um, I'll be performing there. This is coming with me. Um, yeah, and as the world opens back up, I'll be starting starting to perform more. So, this is going to be with me every time. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.